and my friends up in the corner. Uh, okay, another six of you? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so uh, if you know this song, just sing out the harmonies and all that kind of stuff. We'll do a do big, big duet. And then uh, I have kind of a cool uh, surprise uh, for you at the end. So. and this is where they go to school, right behind them. And uh, I just got to see the whole situation there and I was pretty impressed by what was going on. So I'm gonna take a little time just to explain this. Can you give us a second? Okay, we will wait. Okay, thank you. Uh, and so when we went there, this is a school that these kids go to. Uh, it's an orphanage school <coughs> and this is their teacher. And her uh, sponsor was a guy named Max Summers through Child Fund when she was in kindergarten. And Max sponsored her all the way until she went to university. And when she got to university, she realized the only way that she was going to get her village out of poverty 
in, in educational poverty was to go back and be their teacher. And so these are two of her boys. They're sponsored by Max Summers as well. But she's changing the poverty and the education level of this village every single day, heart by heart, through these kids. And it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And then my wife, because she's a doctor, you know, she's the OBGYN, she said, hey, when you go there, will you check and see what they're doing at the clinic? Because I'm really excited to know. And so I wrote her back and I said, honey, it looks like they're taking kids and putting them in a blue jock strap and hanging them from a hook. I don't know. And she said, you are an idiot. And, uh, I learned that they call that Wayne kids. Anyway. Uh, they give these kids through child fund when they have sponsors instead of these kids having to get sick first and then nurse them all the way back into health again child fund gets ahead of that problem by giving them medicine before they ever get sick and this little guy right here is going to hate this but it's going to save his life and it's pretty cool and then a huge highlight for me uh, was before I went over they said we want to we want we've got a sponsor child for you and so they said her name is Tendai and we put her up on our refrigerator and then I went but to actually go to her where she lives and meet her and she talks about um we got a letter that said hey we harvest corn and i went to their corn crib to actually touch and see uh what i had i showed them pictures of my boys ryan and gus they'd never seen anything like that before and they showed me some things i would never seen before <laughs> well now i'm part of being pulled, pulled my ox which is the first time for me actually <laughs> might even be the last <laughs> depending on how this thing goes Well, I get to spend the whole day with Tendai, and this is what this is what before she goes to school, uh, she washes the dishes, and then they showed me that instead of getting water handouts, uh, Child Fund actually dug them a well on this uh, property out there, and they walk about a mile and a half three times a day to get water, and they think it's the greatest thing ever because it's fresh water. And I was like, man, at home you just turn on the tap and the water comes out, and this is a whole new way of getting water. And so Tendai was showing me, and I was like, hey, let me just check that out. Now, you know what's interesting is uh, how heavy that's going to be on the way back. you got to be kidding me. Really? I didn't see that coming. Can I try to carry my head? Maybe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Luckily, I've got the head that's perfect for this. If you'll notice, Ten die looks pretty natural. Oh, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> See? Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Okay, back to the professional. This one has a little indention in the bottom of it that uh, is going to make a hole in my head. Okay, back to you. So they took me to their garden, and uh, the Child Fund gives them seeds every year and then tools, and so they make their own food, and then they sell the rest of their food in the market to make money. And uh, they showed me that I'm not the only thing in this garden with them. We were just talking in the uh, van as we were driving up. I had my window down and the driver said, hey, you might want to roll your window up. I said, no, we're good. He said, no, you need to roll it up. Sometimes snakes flip in from the trees into the... I rolled my window up. <laughs> so uh, it was an honor to get to spend the day with her and just see what her life was like. And I was moved by it. And I thought, man, I've ridden my bike across the country. And that was a good thing for me. And uh, now I've got a sponsored child. And I was like... Man, I think I can do more. And so uh, we videoed this little segment after. So in 2007, um, I was approached by an organization that wanted to spotlight orphan care. Uh, we were going to try something nobody had done before, and that was to ride my bicycle from California to Maine and raise money all the way across uh, by doing concerts. And so when we came on this trip and they said, hey, uh, this is what the sponsorship is all about. I said, I want to sponsor a child. So we did before we came. And uh, not only did that have a big impact, I, ha I heard that voice in the back of my head that says, you can either sponsor a child and make the difference in one child's life, or you can make a real impact. And uh, I took the village. And so there's a thousand kids in my village that need sponsor. That's going to be special. On the day we come back, and there's a thousand sponsored kids in that village, and they get to see the transition to where they were in a situation of poverty, and now they're better educated, they've got health care, and we can transform that whole building, and I can't wait to come back and see that. All right, are you kids still with us? There you are. Yes, that's you here. All right, can you hold up your pamphlets where you are? Just hold them above your heads so people can see you're on the other side of those pamphlets and that you're real people, so just turn those things around. Great. 
Little guy in the middle years has not turned around. Just flip it. There you go. Uh, there you go. So these are the kids in my village. Thank you so much. I'm going to talk to them a little bit longer. Please remember me.